My story started in a very different place than where I am today. I grew up in a happy family with a mom and dad and a little brother. We would go to church some. I had a Bible. I would read it sometimes and learn some verses. If it was said, I didn't hear anything about a relationship with God. When I was about 16, I kind of hit rock bottom. As a teenager, I latched on to substances and things that were not good for me, but were what I thought fulfilling. I got a job at Supercuts of all place. I was like sweeping hair off the floor and stuff. And there was a man there that who was a believer and he would talk to us about Jesus and answer questions because I had a lot of questions. I kept feeling like maybe there was something to this. Maybe God is drawing me to him. I don't really know what that means or what I'm supposed to do about it. There's something missing. There's something that I need and it's not around here. At school, we had chapel every week and the man was preaching a sermon that I, I wasn't very interested in, you know, so it was kind of like lost on me. But I just knew at the end of it when he said, raise your hand if you need Jesus. Just all that pulling by the Holy Spirit was finally like, okay, this is when. And then my story changed. I would let go of one thing. I would be like, okay, God, I, I feel like when I do this and I'm far away from you, I don't like that. I don't want to do that. It was kind of cool how God started changing my life, trying to be a loving mom and wife, serve in the depot at church, and just try to be a light. I think when we've been given that love and forgiveness that we don't deserve, it obviously makes it easier to want to give that to other people. It's amazing to be offered a fresh start and to try to live to honor that. And that's how my story changed.